So I have my spaghetti squash and I'm gonna cut it with one of these knives. Never cut a spaghetti squash before, but we shall see what it be like. So with these knives, I press them and put it in there with, uh, I don't even know how to cut this thing, Lord. Shit hard as a brick. How the hell you cut this? Oh, you gotta get in that mud. <sighs> Oof. Raise it up. I made it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is, I guess I'll take a spoon and I'll um, take that middle out. Do I do that or no? I'm guessing you do. Y'all learning with me, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna take this out. It just sounds right. I'm gonna go empty this in the trash can. So I got the seeds out. Somewhat. But yeah. So right now I'm going to take some grape seed oil and I'm going to kind of drizzle it in there. I'm going to take some parsley. I'm gonna rub it all over parsley, the salt, see Himalayan salt, the pepper, no, the garlic. Oh, I don't think this is even open. The garlic. Oh. Okay. The onion powder. Ooh. And I'm gonna take some minced garlic. Maybe a squirt or two. Now I do have like a little paintbrush. <laughs> See, I had that in a Pacific place, and I be down this time. Thank you. I sure did. I had that in a Pacific place, and um, I guess I might not have known what it was. it 
but yeah I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna paint it all over hope y'all can see this take a little chili powder kind of sprinkle it on here then I have this herbal garlic I'm sprinkle it on here I'm gonna paint it again make sure you get all over it and place them in my pan so I have them in my pan and now I'm going to place these on 350 and about 20-25 minutes I'll be back hey so right now I put my squash in and I'll probably be making it for about 20-25-30 minutes hope it's good too but anyway I'm gonna make my own tomato sauce from scratch. And here's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using cherry tomatoes, cilantro, and parsley. With the plethora of different seasonings, garlic, probably a little grapeseed oil. We got the garlic and herbs, a little chili pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin. So right now I'm going to chop everything up and I'm going to place my season and everything and I'll come back and show y'all um, my progress. Um, I could probably put it on speed, speed video, um, so y'all can see the process. But yeah, I also cut some mushrooms, onions, and peppers, but yeah, and my sauce too, I'm going to use some uh, onions, so let me grab an onion. I had an onion and I'm gonna cut that up and I'm gonna show y'all the process so stay tuned stay tuned So now we have everything cut up on a baking pan, and so I'm kind of mixing everything up. So now I'm going to bake it for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So I'll be back. So here's our roasted tomatoes that cooked for about 20 minutes. And so now I'm going to put them in my food processor. Onions, garlic, seasonings. Oh, let's see how this turn out. 
homemade tomato sauce. I may have to add a little spring water or vegetable broth, whatever you have. Um, I don't have any vegetable broth, so I can't do that. So I'll be back. Oh, put your basil, some thyme in there, whatever you just uh, love for your um, pasta dishes. Now okay. here is our tomato sauce. This is delicious. Smells amazing. It's kind of orangey, orange, orangish color. It was good. Ooh, it looks good. It smells good. Homemade tomato sauce. I want a swig of it. I'm gonna taste some on camera. Here is the homemade tomato sauce. We got a little orangish color, so that means it's fresh. But anyway, I'm gonna take a little bite of this and see how it tastes. Ready? It smells good. Sweet. A little bit sweet. Fresh. Hmm. It's really good. Real good. I'll be back when the spaghetti squash is done. So my skinny spaghetti squash is done. It looks so beautiful. And you just take your fork. They're still hot. You just take your fork and you just... That's how the noodles come about. But yes, yeah, so beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to saute my mushrooms, peppers, and onions. And I'm going to add the sauce, my homemade tomato sauce. And then I'll add the um, spaghetti squash. If I get the thing, go find it right. Can I or no? But yeah, I'm going to set these to the side a little bit. And this up. And This is going to be interesting, but anyway, I have my stove on medium, and we're going to saute these veggies for our pasta, mushrooms, peppers, and onions. Then we'll add our homemade tomato sauce, but as of now, I'm going to continue to shred these, let this cool off a little bit, because I'm going to add it to the pot. It's still hot. This is so neat. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. I mean, it it tastes okay. You gotta season it up to your own liking. Yeah, this is pretty neat. And I'm gonna end up taking this out, pouring it in this pot. So, I'm gonna let these cook about 10 minutes. Good to mix together. It's really a lot of work cooking, I'm telling you. But it's fun. It's really fun. Dang, 
just cook it all. Cook it all, baby. Cook it all. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but I am going to add a little bit of seasoning to my veggies. Go ahead and add this. Excuse me. I'm going to get an egg in there. I'm going to spice it up and I'm going to put a little bit of old base seasoning in that thing. You feel me? Just a little bit. Not too much. Then I'm going to put some of my herbs and garlic and herbs. There you go. Now let's make these vegetables taste like something delicious. I got a little garlic pepper. I got a little onion powder. Bam, 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 bam. That's how you get that flavor in there. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more garlic, which really probably don't need it. But hey, it's mine. I have to do what I want to do. And I'm going to add a little bit of this seasoning right here. This is just a veggie seasoning. It has uh, onions, chipotle, cumin, thyme, paprika. I got it from the little seasoning thing at, um, what's it called? Wow, somebody. It wasn't Ross, it was um, Marshalls. Marshalls got some good seasonings and some vegetables. So you have to put this seed out there. Ooh, and it just looking good. And a little bit more. Oh, you get a little pepper. And a little bit of pink salt. Ooh. Yeah, this is so good. I'm going to see this video. Add a homemade sauce. Put it down. I'm going to put it down on low so that tomato sauce and the veggies can get a little flavor together. Looking the sauce everywhere. Yeah, that looks delicious. It really, really does. Hope it's good. Happy. Let them cook for about five or six minutes. Excuse me, I'm feeling that thing everywhere. My spaghetti squash 
and I just made with homemade tomato sauce and it's I didn't try it yet but I know it's gonna be delicious check out my YouTube video for the recipe thanks for watching I used to do y'all a little bit of this right here right here looks good Hey you guys, so today I am going to try the spaghetti squash pasta that I made. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of scared because mm, it looks good, but it's also healthy for you. So I'm going to put some on a plate and I'm going to try it for y'all. So, how hope is it. So here we have it. Don't fall. But yeah, let's try it on out. Can't be too bad, right? Looks just like noodles. Close your eyes and dream it's noodles. But yeah, low, no carbs. So let's try it out. Not bad. Very healthy. I think I'm gonna put some real tomato sauce in this. Mm. Not bad at all. Mm. Y'all should try it out. But yes, add more cumin and whatever you think you need. Mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese. I don't have any. So, eat it just like this, drinking my hibiscus tea. Also, check out the hibiscus tea recipe. But thank you for watching and enjoy your spaghetti squash. Let's eat our way to healthy, healthier bodies, healthier bodies. But yeah, more recipes coming out soon. And thank y'all guys for subscribing and watching. Hmm, not that bad.